Hello and welcome back to Happy and Seco. I hope you guys are doing good. So today in this video we will learn how to configure a decision object in Appian. But before we dive into this, let us understand what a decision object is. So a decision object takes input values from the user and then it looks for the matching rows in the table based on those input values and then it returns the output associated with the matching row. Okay, so as soon as you create a decision object in Appian, the table will be populated with two inputs and one output. You can have as many inputs as you need, but it requires at least one input. Okay, and the same applies to the output. It requires at least one output and you can have as many outputs as you need. Cool. In here, we have two inputs. You can edit it if you want. You can add input of your own if you need one. You can move it to the right, left, okay? And you can also delete it in case you don't want it, okay? And the same goes for output. You can edit it. You can add output of your choice. You can delete it, okay? As there is only one output, you cannot move it to the right or left, okay? If you add one more output, you will be able to move it to right or left. So we will be needing two inputs in our case first to verify the applicant's age if it meets the minimum legal driving age or not and the second input is for validating the passing grades okay so I'm gonna edit this and here you can provide the name of your input to understand its purpose okay and then you can provide description which is completely optional we can have following types of inputs boolean date number decimal number integer text okay so the first input is gonna be for age right and the type should be number integer cool and here we have this checkbox so if you check this box you will have to provide the choice values and choice labels so i don't want the drop down for this input okay i'll just click okay you can see it has been renamed to age okay and the same I'll do for the second input. I'm gonna rename it. Provide some meaningful name to this. Passing grades. Okay. And this is gonna be number integer. Now let us move on to output. Okay. We can have following types of output. Boolean date, document, folder, group, number decimal, number integer, process model, text, user, user or group. Okay, in my case, output will be of boolean type to determine whether the applicant gets approved or not. And let's rename this to is approved, which is more meaningful. Now let us understand the hit policies. We have three types of hit policies, unique, first and rule order. And unique is the default policy. Okay. If you use this hit policy, you have to make sure that all the rows are unique and the logic should not overlap, okay? Otherwise, it is gonna throw you an error and decision will stop evaluating, okay? Now comes first. So in first, your table can contain overlapping logic, but it will always find the first match. And as soon as it finds the first match, the decision will stop evaluating, okay? Now comes rule order. So in rule order, what happens? It evaluates the entire decision and returns output for all the matching rows. Okay. In this rule order, your table can contain overlapping logic. So based on the requirement, you have to decide which hit policy to go with. Okay. So here we have these logical operators to specify the logic. Okay. In our decision table. So if the age is below 18, okay, and the passing grades, so on a scale of 1 to 5, where 1 is the lowest and 5 is the highest, if the applicant has scored above 3, let's say, okay, so in that case, it shouldn't be approved as the applicant is not meeting the legal driving age requirement, okay, so the output should be false. Next condition comes if the age is 18 or above okay and the passing score is between let's make use of between okay now you can see here we have two text field to specify 
two inputs the input should be strictly between these two numbers okay so if the passing grade is between 1 and 3 okay that means if the passing score is 2 it shouldn't be approved as it is meeting the legal driving age requirement but the applicant has scored lesser than required okay now the third condition comes if the age is 18 or above okay and the applicant has scored 3 or above then it should be approved okay now the fourth condition comes if the age is between 17 to 55 okay because 18 is a legal driving age and if i just pass 18 it will not consider 18 as the logical operator is between if the age is between 17 to 55 let's make it 56 so the applicant is 18 or above and 55 or below okay and the score is 3 or above okay in that case it should be approved okay as the applicant is meeting the both of the requirement now the next condition comes if the age is 55 or below and passing score is below 3 okay then it shouldn't be approved I can't think of any other condition at the moment I think that is all and here we have this last row which is used to define the default output this default output will be returned when there is no matching row found okay if none of the conditions is satisfied then it should be false okay the application shouldn't be approved and here we have this column for notes for documenting the purpose of each condition so it is basically used to provide additional context to each of your conditions okay it is completely up to you whether you want to provide the addition context to your logic or not okay it is going to start evaluating and based on the hit policy it's going to determine whether it will continue to evaluate or it should just stop evaluating once it has found a match since we are using unique hit policy in that case it should stop as soon as it finds a match okay so you have to specify the conditions based on your requirement okay let's test this out now look here it says the decision using the unique hit policy cannot have rows with overlapping logic defined only a single row can match at a time so the logic of these last four rows are overlapping with each other if you hover over this icon it says overlaps with row 5 which is this it says overlaps with row 2 so these two rows are overlapping with each other okay second and fifth one so here we have this condition if the age is greater than equals to 18 okay and the score is between 1 and 3 and then we have this condition over here if the age is 55 or below and the passing grade is below 3 that is either 2 or 1 in this row as well we have the same condition if the passing grade is between 1 and 3 that is 2 2 is common in both the rows and the age is common too we can delete this condition which is not needed as the second and fifth row are same one way or another okay now let's try to test this again now it says the last two rows this overlaps with row 4 and this row overlaps with row 3 so here we have this condition if the age is 18 or above and the score is 3 or above and the same logic we have applied in row fourth if the age is between 17 and 56 that means if the age is 18 or above right and the passing grade is 3 or above you can see right the second input for both the rows is same and the first input is partly the same we can delete any one of these two rows we have this default output to handle any other logic which we have not captured in this decision table okay in case you don't define the default output it will return a null value okay so let's test this out again so here 
it says false because we haven't passed the passing grades because of which it did not find any match and returned the default output if i just passing grade as 2 it is still gonna return the default output why because here we have this age if the age is 18 or below okay and the passing grade is above 3 okay in that case it should return false but in our case grade is below 3 right so because of that it has found no match and returned the default output if i just pass the passing grade as 4 it is gonna find the first row as its match because the age is below 18 okay and the passing grade is above 3 let's see see row 1 is a match so it's a match and it has returned the output as false because this can't be approved because of the age okay now if we pass the age as 18 and the passing grade is 4 in that case it is gonna find this row as its match third row because the age is between 17 and 56 and the passing grade is above 3 right let's test this out again see row 3 is a match so that's how it is working if you want more such videos please like my video share it as much as you can and yes don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in my next video cheers bye bye